grabbing a bunch of grease and I'm going to get everything here lubed up with all of this stuff. And then I'm going to move the window up and down. All right, guys, so here's how everything looks here. Uh, everything was fluid film, not fluid film, but <laughs> I usually say that. However, uh, I ran out of fluid film this time, so I'm just using regular wheel bearing grease and I'm greasing everything up. Um, the door mechanism right there, uh, door lock and everything, door handle, all those mechanisms, those little pieces, they were lubricated. I also lubricated this door stop right there. It's gonna be hard to see, but it's all looped up. <laughs> it's a mess, I know. But it's really, really good to take care of all this. And also while you're here, don't forget to try and you know check the tightness of all these uh, 10 millimeter bolts and nuts. Make sure they're good, yeah. Anyways, I'm getting ready to reattach this film using the clear silicone. All right, guys, I washed this thing, cleaned it up. I made it really nice. Changed this bulb out as well. So that bulb is replaced and now I'm ready to install it back. All right, so the center vent is ready to go back in and I just lubricated this uh, pivot right there with the uh, automatic trans fluid so it can move nicely but uh, here's the vent assembly it's still a little bit wet but that's okay it's all nice and cleaned up and the bulb is gonna be replaced so I put a little bit of silicone sealant on that cover where the bulb goes because the cover is unfortunately just slightly broken and yeah other than that I'm gonna let it dry and then uh, it's gonna be ready to go back in place. Slowly started putting everything back together here and everything has been cleaned up really nicely. This mirror switch usually gets gummed up inside. This was all cleaned up slowly but surely making this thing amazing. All right, now I have a little bit of time to clean up all those leaves. There's a lot of them. And I actually removed this, uh, um, the bracket for the, the horn and I just kind of set it aside for now so it can get more access to all this garbage. Man, whoever gets this car, you better appreciate it and everything that I've done to it because this is crazy. Having to deal with all these leaves in there, clean all that up. Yeah, it looks a lot better. I had to move this horn out of the way. And uh, I was spraying water in there too to help me out a little bit. And uh, that's why I have it jacked up on this side. So yeah, just trying to make it as, as good as possible. Cleaning all this. It's horrible. All right, so this looks really nice and clean. I'm about to put the horn back on. And now, most of that stuff is draining that way. So I just had to loosen this really quick because as you can see, it's where it all lands. So I just loosen this fender liner a little bit so to make sure to clean it up again. And I'll bolt it back up here in a second. But take a look at how clean this looks now. So this trim, I washed it and cleaned it. It goes all the way around here. So I'm gonna install that in a second. Also this pillar trim, I uh, have it all wrapped up here because I was re-gluing it. It was actually coming off right there. So we'll see, hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it looks a lot better than before. So it's almost like opening a Christmas gift. So, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look the best, unfortunately. Um, I did my best with it, but I mean, I think that it's gonna do just fine because this whole thing was just coming apart, but now I can at least 
and it's gonna be a lot better now than it used to be. It's all holding on the on the sides right here. Door panels back together and everything. Clean the ashtray. Amazing. Everything is preserved and looped up. So these front windows are actually moving really slow. Especially the driver's side. So it definitely needs a lot of love right there. Now I'm getting ready to pull the this panel. And uh, some of the pieces are broken, unfortunately. Like this one. I took it out and it was already broken, sadly. But it's still, this clip is still good, so it's fine. All right, now we can go ahead and lube everything up here. I have the window down. And I have the automatic trans fluid ready as well. Because I'm going to need it for all those pivot joints and everything. Remember, never too much lubrication. And then this one right here, this uh, little bushing right there that uh, rides up and down, also same thing. That thing also sometimes breaks off, so I just wanna get it looped up. All right, now with the automatic transfer, I gotta go everywhere here to all these joints as well. Fluid can get in all the crevices. Finishing up with installation of this uh, seal right here, and the pillar, the, the pillar trim is also installed. All right, so a new tumbler installed, new ignition switch installed, everything connected there. Everything works good. Cool. Now I have two keys for the ignition. All right, take a look. I'm done with this door. Everything is looped up everywhere. All the door locks mechanism. Uh, and everything uh, the teeth right here for the regulator and uh, yeah everything is preserved right here as well and also did the door stop from the inside it's so amazing and now i'm gonna reinstall the film and uh yeah i'll be ready to put the door panel back okay everything has been cleaned up right here i'm ready to install the door panel back on so I add grease to this, and here's why. That way, when I install these little buttons, uh, they will never get stuck here. It's gonna be easy to remove next time because sometimes you have to be really careful. They can break off, yeah. And uh, also a couple of things to note on this panel. I mean, unfortunately, this, this pocket, uh, I took off the door panel, and this pocket was already like broken and stuff a little bit, so. Hopefully it doesn't make a noise. Other than that, all the hooks are in place and everything. Everything is back together nicely. All of this is working good. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna try to glue this back on this uh, piece of leather right here. Hopefully, same way on, as on that side. Hopefully this time it comes out better. <laughs> all right, I also cleaned up this uh, carpet uh, piece that goes on the, onto the center console uh, behind the window switches so uh, it doesn't look the best but it looks a lot a lot better than before and I was using shampoo and everything I was scrubbing this thing you know and uh, yeah so uh, it looks so much better now Battery's a little discharged too. 
Amazing. Everything is looped up, serviced, good to go. Looks really good now. So much better. And you can always re-dye it if you want to.